Okay, hello guys and welcome to my channel. It has been a long time coming, I've really considered it for so many years, but now I feel like I finally have a reason, I finally have a passion for what I want to make these videos about and it is going to mainly be health, well-being, fitness and it is just my perspective on it. Maybe you don't want to see that or maybe you might enjoy it and even if you're just you know, here to be a bit nosy and see what do I eat in a day. This is what this video is going to be about, as you can tell by the title. A um, little bit of a disclaimer, yes, I'm not trained, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a personal trainer, but if I can help just even like a few people, whether it's a weight loss journey or whether it's, you know, a mind journey, I think that like a few steps that I have implemented in my life basically will overall help you. I do follow the ketogenic diet it is now a lifestyle for me and i really really do enjoy it and whether you're interested in the keto diet or you actually see and just to see what i eat then no problem i absolutely love watching what i eat in a days whether they are keto or they are vegan or whatever i i really enjoy them so hopefully you will like this content so a normal day for me usually starts out with no breakfast. A lot of people are scared to miss a meal and I was the exact same. I used to think breakfast was so important and it is but it's more important about what you eat and when you eat it. When you wake up in the morning you don't need to have breakfast. I'm sure that you only ate within like eight hours ago for some people. Sometimes skipping breakfast is the first step to understanding that it is okay to be hungry. I've been doing fasting for about two years and that is what stemmed me into doing the ketogenic diet. If you are interested in learning more about fasting, I would be more than happy to do a video for you and maybe break it down. I know a lot of people aren't a fan of watching these scientific videos because I try and send them to people and they don't want to watch them because it's not what they're interested in. But maybe if it's coming from me, just a normie, it will be easier to digest. No pun intended. Meal number one. As I explained, I don't usually have breakfast, so I just have a nice warm beverage. Sometimes I just have hot lemon and water, and sometimes I add the ginger, which is helpful for digestion. So before I eat anything, I usually always do a workout, even if it's just a quick one. Obviously before quarantine, I would rush off to the gym in the morning and do a little class, which I absolutely love. It was usually like a, um, a circuit hit class, which was great. But now at home, um, sometimes I do a workout in the morning and then I might do weight training in the evening. I've been going for bike rides and usually always a walk, but even now that seems to be restricted on. I'm trying to get my steps in every day at least and trying to do as much exercise fasted. What I would think of it like is otherwise you're just burning off your breakfast and really how much is that going to help you if you're on a weight loss journey. It will build up your strength because if you can learn how to work out in a fasted state then you're already at an advantage. You don't need that fuel from your food. It really does push you. <laughs> Put it that way. I'm just gonna go and do a quick workout and I will insert the footage here.
So as you can see, I've got a little bit of a sweat on. Kind of gross. I just like to get a little bit warmed up and ready for the day, especially as we're all stuck in our houses at the moment. Even if this isn't my main exercise for the day, I just like to get something going and um, yeah. Hello, it is nearly two o'clock. I haven't eaten anything. All I've had is that green tea. You might be wondering why I am holding a can of sardines in my hand. To break my fast, I'm actually going to break it with these. I don't really like these in anything. I don't really like them on anything. I don't want it to take away from the other thing I'm about to eat. It is just Audi, like not the best quality necessarily really really good source of you know omega-3 and the bones in there great for calcium there's just so many benefits to sardines the smaller the fish actually the better because it hasn't then gone down the food chain eating all the other fish that have potentially got more mercury in them really cheap i think in aldi this is like 70 or 90p i definitely stocked up on this when everything went a bit crazy if you don't want it in the tomato sauce go for one in extra virgin olive oil but not something flour oil and I'll make another video in terms of that but yeah they can explode in the microwave obviously keep an eye on them um there's my delicious sardine if you are interested in fasting there's an app called zero literally just z-e-r-o you just times how long you fast for at the moment I don't know if you can see it's almost 18 hours so that's a standard time for me if I can try and do 20 I do and you can time how long your eating window is yeah so bon appetit Okay, so I haven't told you what I'm making yet, but basically for my lunch, I am going to make courgette fritters. So all you need is almond flour, that's definitely a key keto ingredient. I've got some guacamole, I mean it's avocado at the moment, but it's what I will turn into guacamole. So some guacamole for the top, I want some cheese into the fritters to help bind it, one egg, and then I'm going to make two poached eggs for on top and for me having poached eggs on top of something the egg oozing out is like the best bit so you may be wondering why on earth have i got a strawberry so i just like to have just that little bit of fresh sweetness so for this you will obviously need a cheese grater of any sort i'm going to use this to grate the courgette and also grate the cheese and after you've grated the courgette, you need to put the courgette into some sort of cloth and strain it. So you have to get all the moisture out, otherwise they won't really crisp up and become more like toast. And I have got a scale because I want to get this accurate and obviously post, I will post in the description. For seasoning, I will of course use salt and pepper because they are my best friend. And I will be using fresh chilies. Um, dried chilies, sorry, and coriander, because yum. So yeah, I will crack on. I forgot to say, I have the asparagus, just because I like that on the side, and a little bit of butter. So yes, just get rid of the ends of the courgette. Grate it. Um, oh, there we go. And then yeah, we're just gonna drain it in the sink. Looks like this, it's green stained. We have 150 grams of grated courgette. Going to grate some cheese. It is just standard cheddar. I have seen recipes where they use parmesan, which I don't have any parmesan, not really allowed out, so cheddar. Okay, and then we have about 100 grams of cheddar cheese. And don't be afraid to get messy. Now you can add an egg. This will definitely help bind it. If you're worried that it looks too watery, then this is where the almond flour will come in. So 50 grams of almond flour. Let's eyeball the seasoning. A bit of chilli. Pepper. If you want to see it a bit closer. I have heated the butter up. We're just going to form like so. And then squash them, I think. And I'm going to have to put my strawberry on the side. And mash my avocado. I 
current situation. It looked like burger, uh, well, burgers. They're nice and crispy. I've got my asparagus going in there. And then I am just about to put my eggs in. If you don't have runny eggs on this, then it's just, oh. I feel like it's gonna end well. presentation <laughs> even if it's just for yourself I just makes me feel better about it I did just want to say that I sometimes put this on my eggs or asparagus I also just wanted to jump on here to say, I know everybody kind of gets the idea that we need sunlight, we need vitamin D, and maybe they know the importance of it, but especially at this these times when your immune system needs to be higher, I really think sitting outside in the sun or doing exercise in the sun or whatever you can do, anything to get outside, really, really is important at the moment. And you don't have to sit in it all day, you don't have to sunbathe, no matter like what you're eating, what your specific diet is, it is really difficult to get your vitamin D from your food it actually helps you absorb other minerals and vitamins yeah even if you don't have a garden go for a walk twice a day well actually we're not allowed go for a walk <laughs> every day and find a spot but yeah enjoyed my what I eat in a day. If you want to know how many calories I ate, I usually aim for about 1500. How many carbs, fats and proteins. And I will pop them on the screen here. So I really want to get across the message that keto is a lifestyle. You know, it is scientifically backed up and I would love to help you understand that through my journey. So videos about fasting, I'm gonna do videos about my ketones, I'm gonna take my blood so you can literally see what ketones am I producing, if I'm producing any, hopefully I am. Basically would love to get rid of the fear factor people seem to have about getting rid of carbs. If you'd like to see that in another video, then please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and if you'd like to leave a comment that would be great I'd love to know any questions that you have I'd love to know anybody's input whether it's negative or positive I'm thick skinned I can handle it thank you so much for watching I, I really hope you enjoyed it this is my first YouTube video and I'm hoping there will be many more to come so I hope you really take something from this video and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day see you later